Hi, welcome to the second topic of annual report analysis. How does a business make money? Today's case studies are Microsoft and Adobe. Okay, so uh, let's look at the uh, annual reports of both the companies. So in the topic one, uh, I showed how one can go and uh, get the annual report uh, using the SEC website. 10k report so we followed all those steps and this is the annual report of microsoft so just to show so this is the 10k report for microsoft the latest edition so we go here um, in the uh, section 8 and then we go and access the income statement okay so in the income statement you can figure out how the overall how it makes money so in the year for the year ended june 30th 2020 microsoft had a total revenue of 143 billion dollars okay out of that 68 around 68 billion dollars were from the product and 74.9 uh, billion dollars were from the service and similarly these figures are shown for the 2019 and 2018 also so revenue is something that uh, when they sell any product or service, whatever money they get, that's called the revenue. Okay, so one should uh, remember the different. Uh, there will be different terms. So uh, that's the first term that uh, you need to understand. So re total re revenue is something that they uh, generate when they sell a product or a service. So in 2020, for the year uh, June 30th, they generated 143 billion dollars. Okay. The second line item here is what's the cost of revenue? That means how much did it cost overall to uh, for, for the product and service? So here is the breakup for the uh, for uh, creating the products. It costed um, the total cost was sixteen billion dollars, and for service and the other, the cost was thirty billion dollars. Now the total cost, if you do the math, it is forty six billion. So then. If you uh, subtract uh, 46 billion from 143 billion, you get around 96.9 billion dollars. That's the gross margin. That means that that's the money they are left after they pay the or the basic costs for product and service. After gross margin comes the research and development. Okay, so the company has to invest a lot of money to so that they can research new products and uh, technologies. So for that, they spent $19.2 billion in the 2020. Then another major thing is obviously sales and marketing, right? They have to go around uh, uh, like, you know, promoting their products, paying their salespeople. That was about 19.5 billion. And then comes general and administrative. It means paying all the offices, all the utilities, uh, all the rents and everything that was about five billion. So, if you uh, <clears throat> from the ninety six billion, you take out nineteen point two billion, then you take out nineteen point five billion, you take out five point one billion, you are left left with fifty two point nine billion dollars. Okay, so that was the operating income of Microsoft for the year twenty twenty. Okay, so this is the year we are talking about, and you can also compare how it has changed. So you see, this had a really steady growth. In the year 2019, they had 42.9 billion, and in 2018, they had 35 billion. Okay, now if you come down, you they have some like little other income, the very really small, it was about $77 million. So if you add that, so the income before taxes, so if you add 52.9 billion and uh, the 77 million, you get 53, billion dollars around 53 billion 36 million dollars that is the income before income taxes that means that's the pre-tax income for the year 2020 and then from there they paid an income tax of 8.7 billion dollars okay now if you take out from from the income before taxes you take out the income taxes you get 44.2 billion dollars so that's the net income that means after paying off everything that's the money they are left with which they can part of it they can give back to shareholders as a dividend or 
reinvest again in the business. So here you can see again why, how come how it has changed in the year 2018 it was 16.5 billion then became 39.2 billion and then 2020 it's 44.2 billion so obviously it has had a phenomenal growth last few years and then at the bottom we see this is a really important numbers is earnings per share so they have your basic and you have diluted so what it does is you have the net income 44.2 billion then you have the shares outstanding so if you divide 44.2 billion to and then to 7.6 billion if you do that division you get 5.82 dollars and similarly in the uh, you divide it with the diluted number 7.68 billion you get 5.76 dollars okay now the diluted the difference between basic and diluted shares outstanding is diluted also takes into account like stock options that means the options that the company has given but they have not been converted to shares yet okay and there are many other small things so that's the basic difference okay now let's see so we till now we just saw the overall right now you might ask Hey, what's the breakup of this? The, what are the products they are selling? What is the service? So all that you can find out. So today we'll learn something. Uh, another uh, another thing is called footnotes. Okay, so after the uh, you have the income statements the, in the annual report, you see something called these footnotes. So note one, note two, and all. So let's keep coming down. Okay. So that in the note one, they have the accounting principles. That means how they are accounting for, like, you know, what are the accounting rules and all. Obviously, all those we'll be covering in the future sessions. So I'm just coming down here to figure out segment. Okay, what was their segment breakup? So I keep coming down here. <clears throat> what five is derivatives uh, and then six is inventories. Business combination, goodwill, intangible assets, debt, income taxes, and so income taxes itself we'll be covering again in the future because uh, that's a whole complex topic that sh uh, shows how it is calculated for each company. It's a little different. Uh, then stockholders equity accumulated other complex income stock options we have segment and information and geographic data so this is note number 19 so obviously for every company they have different like you know for some company you might find this information at the beginning some company at the end some in the middle so everyone has their own style of giving so here you see they give different what are their first segments and how much is the breakup so here they say in its operations management their segments are described below so productivity in business processes so here they see like the office commercial including office 365 subscriptions microsoft 365 then office consumer including microsoft 365 then linkedin that's the business they bought and the dynamic business solutions including dynamic 365 that's the so that's the one part of the business it's called productivity and business processes second is intelligent cloud like the cloud computing azure like that's their uh, product and how much so all those and the github the business they bought all those are clubbed there and the third one is more person computing that is the windows and uh, pc accessories MSN advertising, micro, uh, MSN.com, Windows Internet of Things, the, all these are listed here. Okay. And obviously, gaming, right? Xbox is one of their main products. So these three are their main groups, right? So if we look again, productivity and business process, intelligent cloud, and personal computing. Okay. Now, here you see how what the breakup so you remember at the beginning we saw 143 billion dollars was the revenue so here you see what's the breakup so the productivity uh, the uh, revenue was 46.3 billion 
cloud was 48.3 billion and personal computing was 42 48.2 billion so here also you can see which business is the one that is growing the most so obviously cloud is growing the most it's it was 32 billion and it became 48 billion and uh, other two are kind of not growing that fast so this is something this is where people are paying more attention because they feel cloud has more uh, scope to grow and uh, you know uh, that's where that will, that will keep becoming bigger uh, part of their business and then you see the operating income that means for each segment what was the operating income if you remember the total shown was 52.9 billion dollars earlier now what's the breakup so productivity and business process was 18.7 billion intelligent cloud was 18.3 billion and personal computing was 15.9 billion so here also you can figure out which has the best margin so obviously productivity and intelligent cloud both have uh, pretty good margins and personal computing the gaming and all have a little bit less margin still it is really good if you see they're like almost uh, close to 30 percent so uh, so like that you figure out the segment and then you here also you can see like how much money it earned is within us and how much in uh, from the foreign income so selling their products and services they uh, got 73.1 billion dollars within us and in other countries 69.8 billion and then here you see still bigger breakup so like if someone asks what was the revenue from linkedin you can easily figure out from linkedin it was 8 billion dollars okay how much was the revenue from gaming 11.5 billion so obviously the server products and cloud services is the maximum 41.3 billion dollars and office products and cloud services was second 35.3 billion windows number three so think about it windows used to be the biggest business like just 20 years back and now it's just one of the like you know uh, about 15 percent of the revenue comes from windows and everything else has grown so much so obviously this is how you can see the breakup for the different things and uh, then they have shown like where are their assets like you know which uh, which are the major countries where they have the assets so this is how you can figure out the breakup of the like you know how the how they are making money based on the product and service and uh, the overall so uh hope uh, you uh <clears throat> you found this uh, vi video interesting in the second part uh we will look at adobe so uh again if you have any questions please uh do contact me at annual report analysis at gmail.com uh hope you found it useful thank you